name's Dr. Karen Dacum. I work at Norton Medical Centre. Uh, Talipes is a name for uh, any kind of deformity of the foot and ankle area, um, but most commonly we think of it as club foot, which is, uh, and the other name is equina, equina varus of the foot, which is basically where uh, the foot, when it's formed in the womb, is um, become inverted and, and raised up um, uh, so that it, that um, it's sort of curling up towards the leg and that's what we commonly know as club foot and is commonly referred to as talipes. Hi, I'm Becca and this is Sean and this is baby E. She was born at 32 plus 6 days, weeks old, so she's about 7 weeks prem. She spent 3 weeks in Skaboo, which is the special baby ward in uh, Darlington Memorial Hospital um, where she was fed via an NG tube as she didn't wake up to feed. So, um, yeah, but she's doing really well now. She's six months now, and she hasn't got any hair. Most commonly, uh, talipes is diagnosed in uh, the ultrasound scan, uh, the 20-week scan in the womb. It's actually the most common form of congenital abnormality that's picked up on ultrasound scan. We found out at our 20-week scan, um, when they check um, everything of the baby to make sure it's all growing perfectly, normally when you can find out the gender. Um, when they were checking her feet, they noticed that they were turned in, so we were sent to the RVI for another scan just to check that it was, if it was talipes and then if there was it linked to anything else. What were your immediate thoughts and feelings when you received the diagnosis? There was obviously some sort of worry, we didn't know a lot about it, but and you've been told there's something wrong with your baby and it's something you're not sure about, but after they'd actually gone through and explained it, it was actually quite settling to know that there's a good treatment plan and that they know what they're doing. The treatment can vary on the severity of talipes when, uh, when it's assessed when the child uh, is born. Uh, in minor cases it can just be treated with physiotherapy and stretching exercises uh, of the feet, um, but more severe cases they need uh, the Ponsetti, me Ponsetti method and sometimes needs uh, surgery. So after they are born they have casts put in the feet into the right position, which is the correcting stage. Then they go into boots and bars which hold that corrected feet in the right position. They start off at 23 hours a day, to, um, like seven days a week for three months. Then it gets normally, it'll either get reduced and a few hours each month or it'll just go straight down to about 14 hours which is normally nap time and bedtime until they are five. Obviously can be quite uncomfortable for the child uh, when the, their legs are continued in a fixed position uh, and it can make sort of timing of sleeping and bathing and that kind of thing a little bit difficult. Um, Sometimes if it doesn't work, it's for most of about, I think it's about 85% of uh, patients the Ponsetti method works for them. So there's a small number of people that, that it doesn't work for in which they can go on to have uh, surgical release, tendinopathy, surgical release. So how has the treatment worked so far for baby A? <laughs> um, hit and miss. She's a little stubborn girl and likes to be awkward. She had a lot of cast slipping, which was very painful and it's quite scary for us, but it's very common. So at the hospital, yeah. they were great. Um, she didn't like the boots. She still does it now. She used to kick them off, but I think that was because her feet were too small. The smallest size boots, which were like five zeros, were too big for her. So she would kick them off and it would mean every half an hour we were putting them back on. Now she's tolerating it a lot more. Sometimes we'll just take the bar off and she'll have a kick about with the boots still on. She doesn't really fuss anymore now when we put the boots on. She's sort of, she's starting to get used to it now. How has the 
hospitality has affected your life and relationship with each other? There has been a few spells of boots being thrown, arguments over uh, how the boots are on. Yeah. That's right. Um, disputes of whether or not they've moved, so should we take them off at the hurting of feet, or should we just leave them to it because we've got to leave them on as much as we can. And that's been the biggest issue, is deciding whether or not the boots are having the are upsetting or if there's something else. So for most children they will uh, be able to walk normally and have no long-term uh, issues or problems from talipes. Um but um, they do tend to still have some abnormality if you looked at them as an adulthood and they may have issues with a little bit of um, wear and tear arthritis or need um, orthotic insoles, that kind of thing uh, that might cause them some discomfort but would no, would not most people would have no noticeable functional problem with their feet or any walking issues or anything like that. Um, she's developing really well, she's now getting to the point where she's moving and rolling and hopefully once we get there the boots can be reduced so she can have that freedom but she's doing well she's got the strongest legs of a lot of babies because of kicking in the casts all the time so she's going to be daddy's little rugby player so she's allowed to take part in sports yeah, yeah. They, um, they, they say it really will help especially things like ballet and gymnastics and rugby it helps mainly the dance side um, it helps to keep the tendons and muscles stretched stops them seizing up stops them tightening which stops relapses it stops the need of further surgery making sure that the foot is nicely stretched and um and like that so it just stops uh, it tightening up manage it and you work well and make sure you deal with it how you've been told it doesn't have to be a problem yeah like it won't stop her walking it may set her back a few months but it's not going to stop her walking altogether Um, no. it you know she may be clumsy she may um not be able to run properly for a bit i know a lot of other people have said that when it's cold their babies and children's feet hurt more because of the because it affects the blood vessels as well but it doesn't stop them from doing anything it just is a bit more pain and discomfort than normal children but it's not like a disability it won't hold her back <laughs>